right. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to The Guy, The Girl, and The Gay. And this week was uh, Tom's first pick. Uh, Tom, would you like to let us know what you I, chose? I would. I chose Young Frankenstein because obviously you guys didn't want any porn. So <laughs> he went with Young Frankenstein, my all-time favorite. Well, top, top five, you know. Uh, that's that's my my thing. Mel Brooks and um, uh, Gene Wilder, Madeline Kahn, Cloris Leachman, Jesus, the, uh, um, the killer uh, cast, killer, unbelievable, yeah. um, and just stuff that you know. I saw it as a kid and just um, have been quoting this movie all my life, from Put the Candle Back to um, You Will Be. Oh, and, um, when he goes in, in to see the monster, I hear the I hear the lawnmower right there. <laughs> right. I there. hear a little rumble. I, I hear it. my lawn guys right there. I told him, talking about young Frankenstein, go home. But he wants to do the lawn. He's so I very much enjoy this film. I think this is one of my favorite. Oh, this yeah. makes me laugh every time. So for me, this is like worth it, and this is what I think of when I think of this movie. So that's why I chose the scene. Um, I think it's kind of. You know, there's a lot of things like a ma it's kind of a master class in in comedy when it comes to like structure, rule of threes, things like that. You know, I love that it other like there's other movies that's I'm trying to word it. I've been when I was trying to write my note, I couldn't figure it out. Like there's things about it that are silly and kind of dumb that are also very smart if that makes sense. And they couldn't get, a, other people couldn't get away with it. There's something about how smart these comedians are that they make something so dumb seem genius. I don't know if that right. makes sense. Yeah. Oh, it does. That's so, probably like, what'll be on uh, on Mel Brooks' um, uh, epitaph. <laughs> yeah. And I love anything with Cloris Leachman. She's like phenomenal, one of my heroes. So yeah, I think I really- That's what my it. cleaning lady is like, by the way. That, that is my oh, cleaning lady. I so want to work with cleaning lady. Oh, oh no, you, no, you don't. <laughs> Awful, yeah. No, but I love the movie. Oh, I think oh. it's hilarious. There's a funny little love story. I like Inga. You know, she cracks me up. So I, I'm going to take the pie this time, I think, some of the pie, because I think this is a movie for that everybody can enjoy. People should see. Um, yeah. It's just, it's a, it's a classic and, oh, this is my other thing. So I find that I love characters in movies that are in, created to be bad, like instinctually are bad, but they just really want to be good. And I, that's what the monster appeals to me in this. Cause like, he's just kind of a giant baby. Like Lilo and Stitch is my favorite Disney movie because he's created to be evil, but he just tries so hard and fails to be good. And I like- Well, even that, that dance scene that's behind you was brilliant and it was yeah. adorable. Yeah. 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 So I, I like that part of it too. I always like when there's somebody fighting against their, their natural instincts and not necessarily succeeding, but you know, it's fun for me. And yes, I enjoyed it. All right, well, right. I gotta tell you, um, at first I thought, okay, this is definitely a 14 year old boy's wet dream and- uh, <laughs> And I'm thinking that that's, uh, that's probably when I saw it, uh, was when I was like, you know, 14 or something like that for the first time. And um, I definitely think that this is the kind of movie that you should be stoned for, like definitely. <laughs> I mean, if it, it should have a, it should have like a disclaimer, you know, must smoke pot or hash before you watch this movie or whatever. But um, so I ha I'll tell you, it's, it's not like my, genre of movie obviously because it doesn't have Barbara Streisand in it or Judy Garland or Cher or Liza <laughs> Minnelli but um I have loved Madeline Kahn all my life I I wish she was actually in the movie more um mm -hmm. Terry Garr it was so good to see her in her brilliance uh, like you know um and uh and uh what's we call what's his, what's that guy's name over there Gene Gene uh, Wilder yeah okay Gene Wilder I know, right? It's all those pills. But anyway, so, you know, once I get past his hair, he's, he's just hilarious. I mean, uh, you, you're totally right when you said that um, 
only these guys could get away with the cockamamie stuff that, that they mm -hmm. had to do and say. And, um, okay, Cloris Leachman, yeah, you're right. Other than that, you know, she does remind me of Yolanda, my housekeeper, I, which I didn't like that part, but I got over it. And, um, and okay, and I think we mentioned this, uh, that it wasn't until the credits at the end that I saw that the blind man was Gene Hackman, which <laughs> did not look like him at all. I had no idea that that's who that was, but, um, so, okay, but, so I, I loved it because I felt like I was watching brilliant actors do their shtick, okay? And, uh, you know, was it a movie that, that interested me? No, but I knew that it was kind of, you know, classic. It's definitely, um, you know, got a cult following and stuff like that. And I, I could totally see that it did. And also, the fact that I made it through the end of the movie, you know, is a statement unto itself that it's not my cup of tea of a movie, but I couldn't stop watching it, probably for the performances and uh, kind of like what Tom said, the, there's like some lines in there that are just, you know, like where you go, <laughs> like that. It was so, uh, so yeah, I'm not sorry that we watched it. It was great to reconnect with it. And it was really good to see all of these uh, comedians in one room together. Other than that, I kept Googling them and oh my God, they look like shit now. Like <laughs> if they're even still alive, like poor Terry Gar. I mean, she's, a, she's in a wheelchair and her face is like, really fat i felt really bad for her or whatever but anyway so well tom it's a compliment if you got eric to finish a movie so oh, yeah. saying especially a guy movie so yeah 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 and i was just so glad that was arnold schwarzenegger wasn't in it <laughs> in the remake he'd play the monster i'm sure if it was the 80s remake i could see that right yeah yeah well no i i agree with you that um somehow the gold in this is watching the, the, these actors come and do their shtick, you know what I mean? And it's theirs. And that was, that's the, the brilliance of Mel, Mel Brooks, not Gibson, Mel Brooks, <laughs> is that he, he opens the door, he goes, wait, let her do it the way she does it, you know? Because nobody on this planet is gonna go, some warm milk? <laughs> you know, it's like, whoa, that, you, you just, She's so solid in that, and you go, that alone is worthy of a movie. If you and you're just <laughs> like, wait, 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 she'll get to the part where she wants to give him something to drink at the end. And so they should give her her own show and call it like Phyllis or something, you know? Yes. <laughs> when you start watching it from the top and you see Gene Wilder, and like you said about his hair, you you watch him, he he plays everything so serious and so you really, I mean. Because it's such a spoof, but you go, he, he's playing it for keeps. Yeah. And you think it's a spoof, so you think you're supposed to act spoofy. And you don't. You play it for keeps. He, mm -hmm. When he says at the beginning, he, he says, um, um, my name is Frankenstein. He's dead serious. Mm -hmm. And he's not, he's not phoning in. He's not, like, like elbowing anybody. Another thing, I... I want to say this because every time I talk about this movie, there's a scene where um, he, um, uh, um, he, Igor goes to get the, the brain and he comes back and he finds out that he got the wrong brain. And he, mm -hmm. and he goes, come here, sit, sit down. And he puts mm -hmm. his hair there <laughs> and Marty Feldman, and I'm convinced, this is, I'm, just, I'm, I'm convinced that Mel Brooks walked over to him and said, you know what, when he says, Take a seat, um, have a seat. Just sit on the floor and see what he does. I, I swear to you, there's nothing that says that that happened. It's just for me to play because he goes, he looks so, so genuine. Yeah. He goes, hey, have a seat. No, no, up here. <laughs> it looks so good. And you go, why would he do that? Like, why? Yeah. Why would they put that in the film other than just to fuck with Gene Wilder? I, I would like to see what the script looks like yes. and what yes. is them improv or like, did he just decide to do, like, was it in the script? Oh, you sit on the floor right. or who came up? I would like yeah. to know even all those lines that are really, you know, classic or hilarious because their commitment makes them funny, but 
I don't know. I'm just they could have played it. They absolutely could have played it out. You know what I mean? Like that could have been written in there, and they could have played it out. It could have been just that good at it. But it just it it stuff. You know, um, the Rollins of hay, Rollins yeah. of hay. You know, you go, oh, come on, are you guys? He's just fucking around, or was that in the script? And then there's all these other things, um, like Frau Blucher, um, mm -hmm. and then you hear the horses, like. People, <laughs> every time <laughs> every time and people um they they do like i just did they make up stuff and they say um there was a rumor out and if you look at like you google it there's a whole like page dedicated to people said that in german frau blucher or blucher is glue and, and, oh. he was glue, and that's why but it's not they just people just made that up just for the oh. movie they're like i don't know that's that sounds good you know what I mean? My acting coach, director, um, used to say, um, God is in the details in a film or a play or something like that. And it, that's what it is. It's like you look, this piece, God is in the details, you know? Mm -hmm. I loved when Peter Boyle got to, you know, get laid by both Terry Gar and <laughs> Madeline Kahn. And I don't know why, but I kept thinking, wow, you know, I bet that dick is the size of a tree trunk or whatever. And I'm guessing that's what we were supposed to think. So I just thought that was kind of fun too. <laughs> oh, um, all right, should we do pie chart here? Cause I think we're gonna, okay, we can't call it a gang bang anymore. Did we come up with something better than that? <laughs> no, we didn't. All right, well. <laughs> no. I'm gonna know. go with the gangbang then. Because I, I don't that. know. So if we split it, so here, Tom, you can uh, come up with something. I, did we come up with that after? It was I never heard gangbang. So I think it was gang after we watched Old School, and yeah. the guys like I'm here for the gangbang. Um, we we couldn't figure out what to call it when we divided in thirds and equally. So I don't know why we called it a gangbang. I think I thought it was funny. Then I realized some people <laughs> wouldn't. Um, it was before, you know, Epstein and uh, who's the other Jewish guy that, that is in jail now? Weinstein. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Because if everyone hates it, it's a shit show. God, I don't know so. what canter they went to for their bar mitzvah lessons, but boy, it must have been a major pervert. <laughs> Well, um, I don't know. So, I, are we? You're saying you want to equally divide it? Because I was going to say I would take my third, but I I wasn't sure if you would. Yeah, take Yeah, no, third. I would take my third also. It was pretty good. So there's a little sliver missing if we just do thirty three and a third, thirty three and a third, thirty three and a third. There's still a little. You're never going to get it split down three ways, right? It's an even number. It's true. Yeah. I guess. There's always a little bit left. I'll take that little. So 33 to third, 0.33334. And you guys get 332. I don't know if that works. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it's going to be hard on the pie <laughs> chart to show that, but we yeah. can say it out loud. Right? I'll just divide it in three. Divide it in three. Okay, you do that. And All which right. we, if please, for the four people that watch our show, if you have a suggestion on uh, what to call it other yeah. than a gangbang, other than a gang please. Bang. Send it along. So thank you, everybody. There you go. Send us suggestions. Thank you. Send us Bye, everyone. And stuff. And like us, maybe. Like you us. Know, who cares? Yeah. Like you. See you next time. <laughs>